there. Welcome to our reading for April 2018. Now, this is a general reading, so see how it feels for you. See which signs, symbols, bells, whistles, messages, energies resonate for you and bring you clarity to what you're wondering, concerned, confused, inquiring, dreaming, and praying about. We are all spiritual. We're all psychic. We are all children of God. We're not all going through the same thing at the same time at the same pace. This could clarify the past. It could shed light into the future or be right in sync with the now. In the end, always use your logic and intuition together to make sound decisions based in love for the highest, greatest good of everybody. So we're all uplifted in love. See how it feels for you. If you want a more in-depth look at your month, check out your sun, moon, and rising sign videos. And if you get a chance, try to check out the musical playlist that I put below. See if there's something personal for you in the lyrics, in the videos, in the songs, or just enjoy the tunes. Thank you so much for being here. I love you. I hope you enjoy the reading. I'll see you in a moment. Scorpio. Welcome to our reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's begin. Let's get clarity on the energies coming through in April 2018. We're going to start with one card from the Archangel Oracle. Let's see what God, Source, Holy Spirit, our higher self, angels, and energies of love have for the highest and greatest good of all. We're going to start with one card, get some general advice, wisdom, and clarity for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Some insight into April 2018. Creative writing is coming through for Scorpio, so it's time to write down those ideas, write down your thoughts, start a journal, um, bring a diary with you, maybe a dream journal, something like that. Maybe there's answers coming through dream time or daydreams. This could also be a vision board. You could be a writer. Maybe it's a good title and then the novel comes through. The novel starts to flow. The words start to come. Maybe you need to see a pattern in front of you. When I think of writing, I think of something that starts as an idea and that beginning stage to manifest it in your reality. So maybe that's that good seed you plant to make something real, to make it happen, to make it grow in your world. So writing something down is important. It could be a schedule, you know, rearranging your schedule, seeing what fits, what doesn't fit, what you can change, where you can move stuff around. It could be post-it notes around you. It could be a vision board. It could be a note on your refrigerator. So you remember to do something. But I want to say good ideas are coming through for Scorpio. So write them down um, so you don't forget them. There's something good coming through, something you should pursue, put more energy into. Um, I keep hearing dreams, maybe big dreams you have. And once you see it down on paper, you know which direction to go. You can see that map in front of you. Um, maybe it's even writing down just awesome synchronicities that happen to you. You know, the little miracles, the small miracles that happen, and maybe there's a pattern in the timing. Um, I want to say even pay attention to like the radio, to bumper stickers, stuff like that. Um, I feel like it starts with a title. I want to say something small makes a big difference. Um, so maybe it's just that good push you needed to get something flowing, to get the ball rolling. Creative writing is maybe you write music as well. You know, maybe you have the lyrics, but you find the right person to write the music or vice versa. Maybe somebody else has lyrics for your music or you do both. It makes me think of a jingle, you know, something small. I get something small that has big energy. I hope that makes sense. Um, I'm getting like a commercial. Maybe you're an actor or an actress or it's that small, like I want to say a trailer, you know, that gets everybody to that show, to the movie. Maybe you write like... Um, 
musicals or plays, something like that. It could be a children's book that comes through. Maybe somebody you know has amazing art. Maybe that's you. Maybe you never thought of putting your art into a book. Um, I'm getting child energy, uh, like something really creative, something really colorful. Maybe different colors are important. You know, uh, sometimes if something's all black and white, you know, it kind of blends together, but if something stands out in a color, there starts to be a pattern. So maybe color is important for Scorpio. I want to say circling something as well. That makes me think of editing. So maybe there's a small tweak, something that you can edit, revamp, change up. This could be a blog as well. Maybe something online, maybe like a weekly article something on health, nutrition, spirituality, comic books, whatever it is that you're into. Um, I want to say like a teacher-student energy, you know, something you're natural at or you're gifted at and you can give away. Um, maybe you learn from your students or there's somebody in your world eager to learn something you know. <clears throat> Let's see. Creative writing is Archangel Gabriel. Make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen an article or book. So that makes me think of writing with a pen in a book. So maybe you're reading a good book and, you know, you know the chapter's good, but maybe you can like underline in the book, write some side things in the margin, you know, so you can go back and put something together later. It makes me think of research. Um... Maybe you're going back to school, doing some research on something. Maybe there's a book, Scorpio, just like sitting on your shelf that you bought that you were excited about reading but never got to it. Maybe there's some good information there. Maybe just start. Sometimes I just take a book and just open it up <laughs> and see which page it is. And sometimes there's some awesome information on that page randomly for you. So um, I want to say start the ball rolling with you guys. I feel like something will start to flow. It makes me think of, um, uh, I don't know why I'm thinking of the movie Titus, like the remake with Anthony Hopkins. I felt like, wow, it's been a, that gave me chills. So I remember when I saw that movie, I felt like that first half hour was such a drag. But once you get past that part, the rest just made sense. The rest started to flow. So maybe it's getting past that initial hump of something so that it all comes together in the end. Um, that was sort of random and weird. So let's get uh, clarity on, let you see this, creative writing. I see a lot of golden energy here. So I want to say a golden opportunity. Um, I just keep seeing a phrase, something like that, a title. Maybe something on your Facebook or something like that. Um, you know, something small that you see quick could affect people in a big way. You know, you could, um, I'm getting positive results with something. So let's get clarity for Scorpio on creative writing. Archangel Gabriel, make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen an article or book. Your open book. Maybe you need to be an open book to open up about something. So you can brainstorm, maybe discuss something, your ideas, inspirations, maybe experiences with somebody else. Maybe you have some awesome experiences in your life and you don't even think of them as being really amazing. It's just what you went through. But to others, it helps them learn. They connect to you. So that gave me chills too. So maybe there's something you went through in the past or you're going through now that happened in your life because it brings healing in your future or to others. Um, I feel like others are connecting with you. So maybe it starts with your own connection to what you went through and you'll find that connection later. I hope that made sense. Let's get, let, get some clarity for Scorpio on creative writing. Gonna get a tarot card. The 
Four of Swords. Okay, so this is a healing energy coming through. It's taking a pause. It's taking a rest here. He or she, it looks like a he, is sleeping, but in prayer, in meditation, on purpose to recharge your batteries, to gain some new energy later when you wake up. So this could be meditation energy, relaxation energy, going to bed at an earlier time, perhaps waking up earlier in the morning. It makes me think of doing activities like exercise during the day so you sleep better at night. Um, this could be just an extra pocket of time that's five minutes to meditate that makes a big difference in your energy in your day. So solutions can come through. So you get out of the ruckus a little bit and go to your own little quiet corner to do your own little thing so you can relax, so you can breathe again. So. This is a breathing card. Um, it's a slowdown of energy. And I feel like once you slow down, the solution always comes through. It's like you're thinking about these things here, but you have one thing that's on your, on your mind, one thing that's grounding you, one thing that needs to be solved first, um, that you're putting energy on. Um, prayer as well. Maybe let go, let God pray, and then allow the solution to come through how it should. It might not be as you planned. Um, there's a lot of, I want to say books in the background. It also makes me think of an organ. Let's see if you can see that all here. And when I see the, like, Mother Mary image here, I see the Vesica Pisces behind her, which makes me think of a birth, you know, birthing something. Um, something coming through, being born, being creative, emerging. Um, it's a really pretty card. It looks like a cathedral. I don't know why I thought of Tori Amos. I'm not sure of which song, but maybe I'll put something by Tori Amos. But she's on the piano. Maybe there's something with an organ. I feel like she recorded something in a church. I'll try to find something and put it below for you guys. Um, this could also be... Not enough sleep, you know, not putting something to rest, getting overwhelmed with something, um, spending too much energy in one area in your world or somewhere in your world that you're always on the go, you're always doing something and you never have time to give back to yourself. So this is giving back to yourself. It's also healing. So I want to say if there was an injury, you know, maybe a physical in injury or a blockage, in your body's energetic body, mental body, spiritual body, physical body. Um, this helps heal that situation. It helps heal all the bodies together. Um, I think of physical therapy for some reason. So maybe there was an injury or someone around you and maybe you do physical therapy. Let's get clarity on the Four of Swords for Scorpio. We're going to move along to the Animal Tarot, some rest relaxation, meditation. Um, I want to say a book on meditation maybe or meditating with others even. Um, let's see. Let's get clarity for Scorpio on creative writing. I feel like sometimes Scorpio, those big ideas or those aha Aha, that's it. Moments come like right before you fall asleep. So maybe if you get that good idea and even if you're snuggled in your bed, and you know, you're really comfortable, maybe you need to make time to like make yourself get up and chicken scratch it, you know, write it down on your bedside table, something like that so you don't forget it. I know I have a lot of ideas that come through right before I fall asleep and then I often forget them. Sometimes they pop through later, but maybe you need to have something by your bed so you remember something or a dream that comes through or maybe something right before you wake up comes through get clarity for Scorpio. Clarity on the Four of Swords and creative writing. And we have the King of Winter coming through. So the King of Swords energy, it could be a male, it could be a female, but it's 
a male energy. It's a very direct, smart, independent, sometimes unemotional energy. Sometimes he's disconnected from his emotions a little bit. He's very, very logical. He likes plans, regulations, you know, rules. Um, but he's really smart. He usually has very good advice. He's very direct. He's very much to the point. Um, this could be a teacher. It could be a brother, father, husband. It could be you. Um, I see the whale. It's the humpback whale, right? Yeah. So when I see, this is a big, powerful energy. When I think of a whale, I think of sound, huge, vibrating in the ocean, like the song of the whale healing the earth because it has the whole ocean to go through and put its vibrations in and vibrations are healing. So, um, I just heard that song, son of a sailor, son of a, some son of a sailor would, I'll put that below. That was sort of weird. Uh, the king of winter is like the king of swords. You have a lot of swords energy coming through. So there's a lot of mental activity coming through in, um, April for Scorpio. Uh, let's see. I want to say a big fish in a little pond for some reason. So intelligent, impartial, respected, unemotional. So maybe take your emotions out of a situation. Don't get so emotionally invested in something. Think a little more logically on something. Use your intuition, you know, try to fire up both sides of the brain, which actually meditation does. Meditation uses both your right and your left brain, as does playing music. So music, meditation are really important. Um, it's, at this time, it's very important that you communicate, communicate as I'm tongue tied, clearly. Be objective and unemotional and act as professionally as possible. If you need advice, seek out the most experienced expert you can find. I feel like the right teacher finds you just at the right time. The right advice comes through. Um, it could start off by word of mouth, but come back to you later. Like talking to somebody that might not know what you're asking, but they have a friend who knows exactly how to answer that question. Um, yeah, I hear word of mouth. So let's get clarity on the King of Winter um, being direct being clear, communicating your ideas. I want to say brainstorming plans. I see like blueprints. So maybe you're designing a house or you do interior design, something like that. Maybe it's working with clients, like they have a vision and you have a vision and you need to communicate clearly so you're on the same vision, you know, the same plan. Or it could be somebody that gives you the reins to be creative. But um, I want to say blueprints are important, like designing. Um, that could be an invention as well or um, like a summary for something. Uh, an outline, I want to say. All right, so let's get clarity on the King of Winter, Four of Swords, and creative writing. All right, one more card from the Oracle of Visions for Scorpio. Clarity on writing, meditation, more sleep, good sleep, awesome sleep, <laughs> um, healing energy, healing old wounds, and new opportunity and really good advice. I want to say financial advice as well. Even though that's not a pentacles card, I feel like he has something or she or that's you that can help your finances um, somehow or your schedule. I want to say energy. Where you're placing your energy. All right, let's get clarity for Scorpio. And there's an hourglass here. It's number 40. I like her 
I like her jewelry she has going on. So there's something falling through the hourglass or time is of the essence or timelessness, um, a moment in time. There's like golden sand falling out of the hourglass. So something's falling out. Maybe you need to break free from something. Um, she looks very focused. I want to say uh, telepathy for some reason. Maybe there's somebody around you that you can sort of hear each other's thoughts. You know, you think about that person and they always send you the text right when you were thinking about them. Someone who... Uh, meets you mind to mind, if that makes sense. All right, let's get clarity on 40. When I see the 40, I also see a four. So a stability, um, solid, powerful, grounding um, energy that's, uh, I want to say like a good structure to something, but it's magnified by the zero around it. It's protected by that zero around it. It's amplified with that zero. So I want to say a good solid foundation somewhere. Uh, let's see. Number 40 is time and life. Time is a figure eight. At its center is the city of deja vu. Woo! Ooh, that's a good one. Robert Brault, Brault, or something like that. I like that quote. Time is a figure eight, and at its center is the city of deja vu. All right, so time is the ultimate thief. Gradually takes us and never gives back. A hooded priestess holds out her hand, offering us a lifetime in the form of an hourglass. Its shape suggests a... Uh, silical nature that we might simply rotate and start afresh in smaller issues that might be true and indeed we often sense repetition but in the larger sense the hourglass is simply an illusion in truth such perceived patterns are merely detours along one's, one's journey here we see that golden sand does not merely fall to be recollected but escapes and eventually the glass will be empty. Time is a commodity that is never really ours, but merely something we have use for for a given, given period. The only way to ensure the balance in our favor is for us to use the allotted time fully before it is taken from us. Live every day, every hour and minute to its fullest. So it's also finding that balance. We can't just run on empty or we are depleted. So you need to uh, divvy up those areas so you're putting enough attention and energy into everything that needs your attention, you know? So if you need a little more time at work, put your attention there. If someone at home or your family needs your attention, put your attention there. If it's you and you need more time to rest, make it happen. If you need time to be creative and do your project, do your thing, you need to make it happen. Make every moment count. All right, guys, I hope this reading was helpful for you. I love you so much, Scorpio, and I'll see you soon. Bye.